Hello friends, welcome to the Edizer channel. This time I will continue to summarize the storyline of the Pokemon Indigo League film which is currently in part 23. What is the excitement of Satoshi and his friends journey to become master Pokemon trainers? Come on, watch the video until it's finished. After registering for the Pokemon League, Satoshi was told that he had to go through the preliminary round which consisted of four different battlefields to get to the top 16. Satoshi gets a waterfield where he will face Komu. Satoshi will use Squirtle in that match. Unexpectedly, he actually met Shigeru. It's a shame that Shigeru won't have the chance to fight Satoshi because Satoshi will fall first in the match. Satoshi then contacted Professor Okido who suggested Satoshi swap one of his Pokemon. Satoshi chooses Krabby, Satoshi watches Shigeru win his first match on the ice field. Meanwhile, Team Rocket disguises themselves as journalists while planning to steal Pokemon. But they haven't found anything. Satoshi's match will soon start where in this 3 vs 3 match he chooses Krabby, while Komu chooses Exeggutor. Exeggutor creates a wire pool so Krabby can't hide in the water. Krabby responded with Vice Grip testing his movements. Exeggutor also collapsed after being hit by Storm Krabby. Thanks to his victory, Krabby evolved into Kingler. Komu takes out Seedra which is able to avoid the water gun. But it can be overcome with Bubble which is continued by Crab Hammer. Kingler wins again, only one of Komu's Pokemon remains, the one he brings out is Golbat. Kingler is known to be weak against flying types. Satoshi was able to gain momentum by launching one hit Hyper B to defeat Komu, making this his first step towards the final round. Next in the rock field Satoshi uses Squirtle to face Nidorino. The combo, Water Gun and Headshoot successfully delivered Satoshi as the winner. Shigeru comments that the trainer that Satoshi fought was too weak. After the game was over, Satoshi and his friends looked for a Pokemon Center to recover their Pokemon. But at that time all the Pokemon Centers were full. Team Rocket takes advantage of the situation by setting up a fake Pokemon Center. Without suspicion Satoshi handed over his Pokemon to be looked after. But Takeshi realized that this was the only time he wasn't interested in Nurse Joy at all. Team Rocket, who was discovered, immediately ran away with the Pokemon. Luckily Takeshi managed to thwart Team Rocket's plans with his Onyx. Reclaim stolen Pokemon. The next day Satoshi started his match on the ice field where he faced trainer Cloyster. The Cloyster hid inside its hard shell to avoid Kingler's blows. But it didn't last long because finally the shell broke so Kingler could defeat Cloyster. Instead Arcanine vs Kingler where Arcanine launched a Dragon Rex which knocked out Kingler. Pikachu stepped in to replace him. Pikachu circles Arcanine while avoiding Fire Blash, and it turns out that Fire Blash is used to melt the ice field. In fact, this gives Pikachu an advantage. From under the water the Thunderbolt that he launches will give his opponent more technique. Satoshi also won the match. Next is Shigeru's match where he has to accept the fact that he was defeated. Even before reaching the final round, in his fourth match Satoshi vs Koruko on the grass field, First they chose Bulbasaur and Beedrill. Had mentioned Bulbasaur, Beedrill was trapped by a light seed which absorbed its energy. Continued Bulbasaur's tackle to defeat Beedrill. Scyther was chosen to replace Beedrill. Scyther has high speed trying to land attacks. Plus, his double team is making Bulbasaur even more difficult. Satoshi orders Bulbasaur Vine Wipe to hit all of Scyther's shadows. Behind his imagination, it turns out that Scyther is very fragile, so he can be defeated by Bulbasaur. Koruko's mainstay Pokemon is Bellsprout, which Satoshi thinks is weak. But he changed his mind after seeing his Bulbasaur being slammed easily. Bulbasaur can also be defeated. Satoshi entrusts Pikachu to defeat Bellsprout. Pikachu Thunderbolt but Bellsprout channels the electricity into the ground thanks to its root-like feet. Pikachu decided to fight Bellsprout with his bare hands. But he is no match for close combat. Pikachu collapsed. In the audience finally Professor Okido and Mrs. Satoshi arrived to support Satoshi. Satoshi was silent for a moment thinking about what Pokemon he would use next. Previously Satoshi transferred Muk for his match, so he chose that Pokemon. 
It was proven that Muck was very functional against Bellsprout. None of his attacks worked against him. Muck pinned Bellsprout until he could no longer continue the match. Satoshi also has the right to qualify for the next round where the match will be held at Indigo Stadium. Satoshi and his friends along with his mother and professor celebrate Satoshi's victory. The professor said whether Satoshi had prepared the Pokemon he would use later. Satoshi said he had the exact picture. While in the elevator Satoshi met Hiroshi, a trainer who also participated in the Pokemon League. Hiroshi stroked Pikachu's head without fear. Pikachu would usually electrocute him if anyone dared to touch him. Suddenly the lights went out. Hiroshi borrowed a little of Pikachu's power which he used to turn on the lights so the elevator could start running again. Not long after, Team Rocket organized a Pokemon inspection in order to steal the Pokemon. They said this was part of the Pokemon League procedures. And anyone who refused to have their Pokemon checked would immediately be declared disqualified. In the implementation, Team Rocket managed to catch Pikachu and was chased by Satoshi and Hiroshi. But they lost track of him. That night they rested so that in the morning they could start the search for Team Rocket again. Following the trail left by Team Rocket, Satoshi and Hiroshi found Team Rocket sleeping. Secretly Satoshi and Hiroshi got into the car and found Pikachu and the stolen Pokemon. Unfortunately, Team Rocket discovered their actions and immediately locked them in the car. Satoshi is having trouble finding his Pokeball. Different from Hiroshi who had put a sticker on his Pokeball. Hiroshi takes out his Charmander Zippo to destroy the wall. At the same time he released a Pikachu named Sparky. The duet between Pikachu managed to finish off Team Rocket. Long story short, Satoshi returned to Indigo Plateau. He was ordered to lure Magikarp to determine his opponent in the next round. Unexpectedly, Satoshi will face Hiroshi. Kasumi and Takeshi explained Hiroshi's match data, where he managed to win all matches in the previous round with full Pokemon without losing a single Pokemon in the match. The next day Satoshi and Hiroshi met at the Pokemon Center, they promised to present a tense match. Then Team Rocket called Satoshi using Hiroshi's voice asking him to meet in the forest. When he got there Satoshi was arrested and taken away by Team Rocket. But he was able to escape thanks to Squirtle flooding the car. As a result, there was a chase between Satoshi and Team Rocket. Satoshi is racing against time to get to the stadium. There Hiroshi calmly waited for Satoshi's presence. Kasumi, worried about Satoshi, turns on Hiroshi for his tardiness. But Hiroshi admitted that he never called Satoshi. Still being hunted by Team Rocket, Satoshi orders Pikachu and Pidgeotto to seize Team Rocket's hot air balloon. So he could arrive at the Indigo Stadium as soon as possible. Satoshi was almost declared dead because he hadn't arrived yet, luckily Satoshi arrived on time. Without delay, the match just started. Originally Butterfree vs Squirtle, where Squirtle was successfully put to sleep by Hiroshi's Happy. Pikachu was ordered to Double Edge followed by Thunderbolt to avenge his previous defeat. Hiroshi took out a Zippo that was continuously flamethrower. Pikachu, who was exhausted, was paralyzed with Zippo. As his final Pokemon, Satoshi chose Charizard which did not want to obey its master's orders. However, Charizard fights back when attacked. Hiroshi relies on his Pikachu Sparky as a replacement for Zippo. Charizard stomped his foot then threw Sparky. Realizing that he could easily defeat Pikachu, Charizard lost his fighting spirit and chose to relax. This caused Satoshi to be declared dead. With a heavy heart, Satoshi accepted his defeat. Satoshi was still disappointed by his defeat and chose to lock himself up in his room. Kasumi came into the room to cheer up Satoshi, but Satoshi didn't need it. Then a debate broke out between the two and was mediated by Professor Okido. If only Charizard had been trained well, Satoshi could have won the match. The debate continued again, which forced Pikachu to electrocute everyone in the house. Satoshi and his friends then watched Hiroshi's match, but unfortunately he also had to fall after being defeated by trainer Ivysaur. Satoshi approached Hiroshi who was alone near the lake. Even though Hiroshi was defeated, he wasn't sad at all. He just needs to practice so he can become stronger. Something that Satoshi needs to emulate. When he was about to return home, Team Rocket arrived and managed to steal Pikachu and Sparky. Satoshi and Hiroshi were able to get out of the hole thanks to the help of the Pokemon. Only then did the battle with Team Rocket begin. Satoshi and Hiroshi can beat Team Rocket. The Pokemon Indigo League has officially finished, participants who have participated are given Pokemon League badges. 
While the top rankers are given the highest award as champion, Team Rocket digs once again to steal the Pokémon in the battlefield. But ended with the flight of Team Rocket who accidentally dug into the fireworks. In the morning before parting, Satoshi and Hiroshi promised they would meet again someday. While Satoshi was ready to continue his journey with his friends again, 